One of my favorite quantum gates is the dual unitary gate. It's a quantum gate that couples two qubits in a really special way. You can picture a two qubit gate as a box. Let's make it blue with two legs coming out of the bottom and two legs coming out of the top. I'm a quantum many body physicist, so I'm taking the time direction to be upwards. So you can think of the bottom legs as the qubit input legs and the top legs as the output legs. Quantum gates are unitary, which means that the Hermitian conjugate of this gate is also its inverse. I'm going to color the Hermitian conjugate as yellow. Connecting the blue box to the yellow box gives us the identity, which is just pictured as two lines. And that is this gate's property that it is a unitary gate. So what does dual unitarity mean? Dual unitarity demands that the gate is not only unitary in the time direction, but it is unitary in the space direction as well. This is pictured like so. So connecting the gates in a space-like fashion. And instead of getting two vertical lines, we get these two new identity lines. The parameterization of the gate looks like the following equation. So inside of the exponential, we get all of our two qubit properties with xx, yy, and zz interactions. The only constraint that we have is that two of the three interactions have to be fixed to pi over four. The third interaction parameter can be whatever value you want it to be. And then we can have whichever single site unitaries you want on the left and the right hand side of the interaction unitary. So we can do a quick test to show that this is in fact unitary in time and in space. For this example, let's just set j is equal to zero and we're gonna forget about the single site unitaries because they are always dual unitary. To do that, what we need to do is called a space time swap. So we are going to build our unitary matrix U in the fashion of a dual unitary gate. So that's an exponential i pi over four, setting j is equal to zero, we get the pi over four x x pi over four y y. And we're going to store the output inside of a variable called u swapped. Now labeling the inputs zero, one, two, three, then we can start pairing zero and two now for the space direction and one, three in the space direction as inputs and outputs. It's almost like now we have qubits on the time lattice. Doing the space time swap can be accomplished by doing the for loop where we loop over all possible inputs and all possible outputs. And inside you swapped, we are going to put in the correct matrix element from our original unitary U. Then all that's left is to test if this is in fact an identity matrix when we multiply U swapped by its Hermitian conjugate or its adjunct. And as you can see, that's true. This is a dual unitary matrix.